right, so I was building up my Sega, and I bought this nice trigger guard here. Let's see if I can get that on there for you. There we go. It's a one piece, holds the nut for the pistol grip. It's real nice. I believe I got it from Din Dinzag. Dinzagarms.com or it's Dinzag, you know them. And small problem, not with the trigger guard, with something else that I bought. That's the Echo 93 sling adapter. I believe it's the V3. This one, okay. See, I'm not an AR, uh, AK guy, so I didn't know. I just thought it looked cool and it would work for my sling setup that I, I like. And the problem is, it goes here. So, all this crap is in the way, and that's not gonna work. So, I can buy a new trigger guard, or, me being the guy that I am, I don't want to spend another 25 bucks. It's not a lot, but I own a Dremel. And if I take this off right here, just cut off that whole back side, that, that plate should work perfectly, and I don't see um, any reason not to do that. So that's why it's somewhat, somewat disassembled, because I wasn't sure I was going to do a video, but, you know, why the hell not? Well, that's what I'm going to do anyways. I mean, I don't think anybody needs to know how to use a Dremel, so I'm just going to cut it off and come back after. Okay, so we're all done. You can see part I need, part I don't need. Taken off. It's a little shiny on there. Hit it with some touch up. Some super black birchwood casey. You can also use aluminum black even though I'm pretty sure this is steel. It just seems to work anyways. I don't know make some good stuff in. I know you're not going to see it, but, you know, the pistol grip's going to cover it, but if anybody ever takes your gun apart, you sell it, you don't want somebody saying, oh, this guy's a hack, you know, because you did a crappy looking, you know, modification, you know, so try to make it look good, sand off the, uh, the rough edges, you know, don't take that much extra time, don't leave it looking all crappy, all right, put it on. All right, so it's all finished up, it's reinstalled. I drink a ton of coffee, so get used to it. Here it is, installed. Seems to be solid. I couldn't complain about the machining on it or anything. The, even the logo is not bad, made in the USA, gotta love that, on a Russian rifle. So, I mean, so far so good mounted up nice and uh, the important thing is that my MS3 clips onto it good and then the, uh, the Carolina shooter supply bolt-on handguard retainer which I also love accepts the MS3 perfectly. A little bit of play, just enough. Um, and you know, I've worn it, you know, just for a few minutes here, and I can't attest for how well it's going to work in the the field because I haven't got to use it yet. So I'll let you know when I do. Maybe I'll finish up. I guess this has been kind of a small review on this part, and uh. Yeah, I like it. Works good. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, let me know what you think. If you got any questions about it, I'll answer them if I can. If not, go to Echo93 and check them out. They make some. Uh, they make all different types of ones. This is this one is the one that I felt worked best for me. They got some good ones for a pistol that kind of come up like this. I think they got one that comes out the back and points down. If you, if you have a setup like this, I think it's going to hit your hand. That's why I didn't go that route. But they got this one that comes straight out. They got this like this with a, um, a quick disconnect if you run that type of sling. There's a lot of great options, and they're real cheap. I think it was 
30 bucks shipped or something like that. It's worth it for me to be able to run and gun with my AK like I do with my AR and uh, keep it consistent. Gotta love it. Alright, see you guys.